All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Hey, I don't know for the life of me how that this particular um, important piece of news literally escaped the mainstream news media. It did not go viral. It did not go public in the time of the election in 2016 uh, when Donald Trump and him got elected. Um, but the, apparently the FBI has been on this militia group or the, whoever he is, these right-wing terrorists for over three years. And um, this, is what the, this is what it says. It says, FBI stops right-wing terrorist plot to bomb, kind of like a predominantly a Muslim Somalia or Somali community. All right? And of course... I mean, it's being reported all over the place, but it's in Kansas City, and this is what is this is what the news media is saying at this particular time. I think what is appalling and what is troubling to me is how that this major piece of news uh, somehow had a, a total media blackout, and it wasn't even reported on. I don't even remember it. I can't even find nothing on it from Fox or CNN or NBC. I can't find nothing on it, but yet and still, it's there. It's real. It says, three Kansas men who were allegedly part of a domestic terrorist group called the Crusaders were arrested by FBI on Friday, charged with plotting to carry out an attack on Muslims living in the state. The men are identified as Patrick Steen, Galvin Wright, and Curtis Allen. And all are in their late 40s. They belong to a group that espoused sovereign citizens anti-government, anti-Muslim, anti-immigrant extremist beliefs. According to an FBI agent affidavit, the alleged plot to attack the Muslim immigrants focusing on an apartment complex in Garden City, Kansas. Man. All right, and according to the Department of Justice, the trio allegedly stockpiled firearms, ammunition, and explosive material and discuss parking four vehicles filled with explosives at the four corners of the apartment complex in order to set off a massive explosion. The attack, which the men alleged, said would wake people up. This is what they're alleging. Was planned for November the 9th, one day after the presidential election, according to the DOJ. The FBI has been investigating Sting, Wright, and Allen since February and documented their violent rhetoric excerpts of which appear uncensored below. Stein alleged and said that the only good Muslim is a dead Muslim and that they would enjoy shooting Muslims' head. Whew. When we go on operations, there's no leaving anyone behind, even if it's a one-year-old. I'm serious. I guarantee. If we go on a mission, those little efforts, efforts are going bye-bye, he says, according to the FBI. And this thing goes on and on and on. As a matter of fact, um, that matter of fact, one of their statements in the Talking Points memo says that their plot would bring about a bloodbath in their words. That was the only effing way this country is ever going to get turned around, according to FBI after David released with their arrest Friday. Wow. My question is, is how did this get a mainstream media blackout? Matter of fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Um, it's three older white men, and I'm going to actually post down here below um, the actual news article. And mind you, it took place. In 2016, the reason why I'm reporting on it now is because I'm appalled that it was just a total media blackout on this. Who ever heard of this? Did you hear of it? I didn't hear of it. Something's wrong. Something greatly wrong in this country.